Koisar, this is James aka JP Harker coming to you with an announcement video. It is out in the world, Gawain. Uh, it's the first book that I have published that isn't self-published through Amazon, it's through Adelaide Books. And on the one hand, yay it's out, on the other hand it's a strange experience. Uh, it's mostly good, but I'm a bit of a control freak so seeing this I'm like, but, but I didn't plan this, this, this wasn't all me, but it's out and it's good and they've done rather a nice job even without my obsessive contributions. So I'm going to count it as a win even if it's, it's weird letting go of that control. So here it is, a cover that I didn't obsess over, a cover that I didn't make little changes to all the time, and a blurb that I didn't agonise over, and a format that I didn't obsessively try to work out with Word, and it's, it's strange letting go. Gotta be said, it is strange letting go of that control, but what's been produced is actually quite good. So I don't know if there's a lesson to be learned there somewhere about uh, relinquishing some control to people who know what they're doing. Who knows? But I'll, I'll say a little bit about this book. Um, mainly, go and buy this book and find out for yourself. But this is the first book I'm releasing that isn't part of my Caledon saga. It's not part of the Caledon world. It's semi-historical fantasy, so it's set in the real world. It's set in real Britain, post-Roman Britain. And it's looking a little bit more at some realism. Ignore the motorbike outside. I have dreadfully inconsiderate neighbours. It's semi-realistic. It's post-Roman Britain. It's after the Romans have gone but before the Saxons have really arrived, so there's that period of uncertainty and semi-chaos going on. And that's when the original Arthurian story really originates. The Arthurian myth is a bit of a conglomerate, where we have Welsh legends of uh, Myrddin Wyllt, and we have this Arthur chieftain type who may have been Roman, who may have been half Roman, who may have been half Saxon, we don't really know. And much later, uh, Tristan de Troyes coming in with people like Lancelot and Galahad. But I'm sort of lumping them all together into the same time period. And Gawain, in the original Arthurian myths, was the greatest of his knights. This was before the days of uh, Tristan coming along as part of Tristan and Isolde, and before Lancelot came along, and before Galahad came along, and they all one upped one another. Uh, originally, Gawain was one of the top ones, so. So it made sense to start with him, and I'm potentially going to do some more books like this depending on how this one goes. So I've got uh, one for Lancelot planned out, I've got one for Arthur planned out. We'll see how that pans out. But the Gawain of Arthurian myth is in what is now Scotland, wasn't Scotland at the time because the Scots hadn't come over yet, and he's a sort of middle child of several brothers and the son of a king. And the story is a fairly common story of boy becoming a man, but it's my own twist on it, it's my own twist on the Green Knight tale, putting in a little bit of real historical detail, putting in a little bit of traditional myth and magic, and seeing what we come up with, and hopefully we've come up with something that's a little bit new, a little bit different. That's the plan anyway. Now, again I'm going to keep it very brief. It's a bit of Gawain and the Green Knight. It's a bit of traditional Arthurian myth, it's a bit of post-Roman historical realism, but mainly, slightly different for me, is it's more of a YA adventure than what I've done before. I don't like the word YA because it's vague, and it's very hard to pin down what is meant by that. But when you compare this to the size of my Caledon books, and when you compare it to some of the stuff that happens in my Caledon books, this is something that could appeal to a slightly younger reader, hopefully, and it's something that could bring in people who might be intimidated by a big, thick, heavy, not just heavy in its weight, but heavy in its content, adult fantasy book. This is hopefully something that people can enjoy when they're a bit younger the way I did with David Gamble, which I wouldn't necessarily call YA, and that can 
introduce them to this sort of writing, and especially introduce new people into Arthurian myth. And that, that's the hope, anyway, I go into with this. That we'll get some people thinking, I like King Arthur stuff, but I don't know much about it. Well, here's something about it. Learn. And that's probably a long enough video for a shameless plug, which is essentially what this is. So, I shall sign off with that. It is Gawain, a novel by J.P. Harker, and it's by Adelaide Books. So, go out and check that out. Like it, and tell everyone you know about it, and then, who knows, maybe Lancelot will come along next. We shall see. This is James, a.k.a. J.P. Harker. Well, wow.